most of that was done before I bought it. I just cleaned it up and stuff. We've added a lot of local car shows and, and parades and pretty much everybody that sees it really, really likes the car, so yeah. In all, Brad's rebuilt and sold 15 Mustangs, including a couple 04 Mach 1s and a 2003 Cobra. These are all his toys, so it's only fair that his wife gets a toy as well, right? I bought a Jaguar for my wife to run. Uh, since the family's getting older and they don't ride with us a lot, I don't need the bigger SUVs. She wanted a car and I needed something all-wheel drive and Jaguar's all-wheel drive. Um, not quite a toy to be shown off now, but Brad says it will be. And I replaced the, the hood, the fender, the grill, and then it was damaged on the left rear also. It needs a quarter panel and trunk lid and rear bumper. Brad's wife should trust him. She's seen Brad and his co-workers take hundreds of Copart cars them back into shape, then get them shined up and put them back on the road. So her Jag should be no exception. Next week on Sold in Seconds, how Brad went from two smashed up sedans to one jaw-dropping Jag. The auction action continues. Bidders are going after it here in the Hartford Lane in New Britain, Connecticut. And it's a 2001 going Audi one. A4 1.8T one. Quattro. That's all-wheel drive. Going and going that thing would uh, be pretty good in the going snow. Going and fly. New York, New Jersey. Massachusetts, Indiana, they are going after it. And going that's one, the way the auctions go here on Sold in Seconds. And take a look at our Sold in Seconds odometer. Copart sells a car every six seconds. This is how many cars have been sold already today. Watch those numbers tick up. You're watching Copart Sold in Seconds. Welcome back to Copart Sold in Seconds. This is Jamie and I'm Greg and Jamie. We've been keeping an eye on our hot on the block auctions. We have Greg and one of those just came up. It's our 2002 Porsche 911 Carrera. It has a little tap on the nose <laughs> with just 47,000 miles on it. Let's see how this auction unfolded. Going one, going flight. This is a, a well sought after vehicle, no question about it. It is, the 911 is Porsche's by far going most one, popular model flight. worldwide. Now, the 911 races in the LMS series, which you commentate, but not necessarily going Carrera. One, going flight. No, the, the race car is based on a different one, but they're all 911s. It's yeah. a fantastic car. It's awesome. Going one, going flight. Up to $9,800 in Georgia. Going one, going flight. Bidders from all over the country going after it. Mm -hmm. Indiana looks like they might get it. Ooh, $9,900. What a steal. If you've seen the movie National Lampoon's Vacation, you'll love this next story. If you haven't, you're still going to love it. Now, just like Clark Griswold, the Copart customer you're about to meet, had a drive to take his family on the ultimate road trip. But instead of buying the family truckster, this guy decided to build one. Yeah, what was that? The Halbert family looks at pictures and remembers one great road trip. A road trip that almost wasn't. We were going to fly to Disney World, and then we decided we'll drive, we'll see the countryside, and I was like, okay, I got to find a, I got to find a wagon. That decision just a couple of weeks before the trip. Jason immediately got on Copart and started scouring the site for the perfect station wagon. And I needed something that was easy, an easy fix, something that I could, I could handle. Jason found it quickly, but he still had to win it. So I'm bidding, and it just, it's so fast. I mean, it's, so I'm, I'm bidding, it's Texas, and then it says your bid, Texas, your bid, Texas, your bid. And finally, um, it was just, I was in a state of mind where I, I'm getting this car. Jason won his 2006 Dodge Magnum just 15 days before the family was scheduled to leave, giving him just two weeks to fix windstorm damage and get the car ready for some family fun. Jason's wife, Teresa, saw the damage, but had confidence Jason could fix it in time. He's done it so many times, I knew that he would get it, and it was, we got it, right, right down to the wire, but we got it. <laughs> With a wife not worried about Jason's repair skills, and Jason knowing he had a local body shop to help fix what he couldn't, Jason set to work getting the Magnum ready for the cross-country drive. What he created? A family car nobody wanted to part with. He sanded the sides, found replacement glass at a salvage yard, and the interior? Jason eventually took care of that too. Once it was done it was, and seeing it, it was like, you know what, uh, that's pretty neat, you know, it came a long way. No doubt Jason's car came a long way from that damage to the designer wagon that you just saw, but it also went a long way. Lenexa, Kansas to Disney World is more than 1,200 miles. Everything from station wagons to work trucks, you really can find it all on Copart. And this next item is proof of that. It's time for our specialty item of the week. 
This week we're looking at a 1997 Chevy K3500 flatbed conversion. This is a great club car hauler. Just load up and take your car to the track. Its bed drops flat for easy loading and this one comes with the Copart run and drive verification. This truck has only normal wear and tear. And there are plenty more trailers suitable for hauling cars, motorcycles, whatever you need. They're all on Copart.com. That was awesome. Now, if you like getting dirty, we have the sport for you. How about mud racing? We have just a man to show you this dirty sport, but he had to eat first. Hi, I'm Crazy George. Y'all welcome to my home. We're fixing to have lunch. We've got uh, baby back ribs, steaks, Cajun sausage, seafood pasta salad, boiled shrimp, potatoes, corn. Good old Louisiana cooking, that's what we got. Crazy George needs that food to power his next activity. Come out here and play. We're gonna run some trucks today. Crazy George's real name is John Butler. But John Butler doesn't seem to fit as well with all these big tires, big engines, and big messes. So Crazy George is the name John uses. It started, the crazy part started when I got my driver's license. George started when I was about seven, eight years old. How you get from John to George, we're still not sure. But the crazy part all makes sense as soon as you see George behind the wheel of his mud racer. Crazy George says mud racing is in the culture of Louisiana and a big part of the culture of his family. He's been racing since he was a kid, and now George has his kids racing too. And with all those racers in the family, Crazy George could be spending crazy cash. A new truck to build like that, it would have cost me, the truck would have cost me $12,000, $14,000 before. Instead, my truck that I have that I run right now, I get $1,200 for. Yup, $1,200 instead of $12,000 bought Crazy George a truck to race. But admittedly, it needed some work. It was a 94 Chevrolet, and it was a trainer truck. Like I said, a tree had fell across it, and it was completely underwater. But even though the truck was full of water and had been beaten like a drum, I seen potential when I seen it. Potential to turn it into something nice. Ahead, Crazy George tells us how we took that truck from a hot mess to a happening racer, and you'll never believe how long it took him. That and more auction action when we come back to Copart, sold in seconds. There's one happy Copart bidder right now. That bidder.